Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Happy Monday. Just popping in here real quick to get us started in the right direction this week. So, how do you start your week? What is the one thing that you can do that's going to set you up for success, that's going to give you the tools that you need, that's going to give you courage and confidence? and and boost uh, what you're moving towards this week today because we're not even promised the rest of the week so let me share real quick today I am chatting on the faith I had a went to church yesterday um, our pastor Andrea our pastor's wife spoke and you know when we're going through and there's a couple things that I want to share with you today um, and I get to hop between uh, my notes on my app, my apps. But one of the things that was said by Pastor John last week was, you can be inspired by someone else's faith, but you cannot leave, live by another's faith. So, you know, we look at people all the time and it's like, oh, they're successful. Oh, they've got this great marriage. Oh, they've got this. And, you know, first of all, honestly, behind closed doors, we don't know anything. <laughs> um, and... Yes, it's inspiring, but what are you doing with your faith? What are you doing to create the life that you want? What are you doing to complete the calling for what's planned for you today? So, because our day is already planned for us, we just get to step into that and realize the beauty of just moving through it. We always get to, you know, a few weeks ago, I was like, you know, Winnie the Pooh, think, 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 think. And yet... If we have faith to move through our day, if we have faith to know that we're going to have energy and, and have good connections and get those projects done and all of the things, then what is faith? Faith is the confidence in what we hope for and belief in what we cannot see. So Andrea made a great point yesterday. And she's like, you know, we believe, we have faith that the internet's going to work so we can get our jobs done and do our, you know, get our connections and all of that. We have faith that, you know, the brakes are going to work in your car. We have faith that, you know, the check's going to come at the end of the week. And for some of you, that's a big step of faith. And here's what I know. When you step in to your faith, then... We, that's where things happen. That's where things happen. And I want to jump into um, Hebrews 11 and 12. So let me go to Hebrews 11 first. Because that's about the heroes of the faith. So if you want an inspiration, if you want um, to see what is possible, then go read the Bible. <laughs> Forget all the self-help books. Forget all the, you know, I've got to do all of them. And yes, you get to meditate. That's actually in God's word. You get to focus in. But go to the word because that is what is our guidebook for getting through life. That is my guidebook for getting through life. When I'm having a funky day, that's where I go. I go to the word because the word is your sword of truth. And that is where you say, okay, this is the lie that I'm telling myself based on the stories and experiences I've had in the past. And here is the truth of what I know. And it's so easy to make our decisions based on experiences, based on, you know, relationships of the past or even maybe now versus what the truth says. So Hebrews 11, 1 through 2, the fundamental fact of it, and this is the message version, the fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God, this faith is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. Let me say that again. The fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God, this faith, is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. What's your, what's your foundation on? What are you standing on? Are you standing on the fact that, oh, my, I have a job or my spouse has a job and, you know, we're standing on that. Well, guess what? Jobs go away. Jobs go away. <laughs> and, you know, there's decisions that you make that may make things uncomfortable for a little bit. But if you have faith in the foundation of, of God, 
then, in his word, then you know that it's worth living. Life, you have a life worth living. How often do you wake up in the morning and say, I have a life worth living? I was, I have this little mantra that I say, and I was saying it to myself this morning just for that reassurance. And I say it about God, and then I say it about myself. God loves me. God believes in me. God, God loves me. God trusts me. God believes in me. I love me. I love me. I trust me, I believe in me. And, and insert your name in there because that's even more powerful. But the, you, when you stand on that foundation, the, the God's already got you today. He trusts you to lead your day the way that you're supposed to lead your day. And so know that this is your foundation. If you're looking at something else, if you're looking at your job, if you're looking at somebody, your spouse, if you're looking at your spouse to support you and you know meet all your needs, don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't yes you they love you yes you get to love them and God first God first always first so what else does it say the act of faith is what distinguishes our ancestors and set them above the crowd so who who are our examples who are our inspirations Abel by faith we see the world called into existence by God's word he created it. He created us. He created the world. He created everything. That's faith. So if you read through each one of these, these people lived completely by what they could not see. They lived by faith and they knew, good morning Zambamo, they knew that because of that they were able to complete what they were asked to do. By faith, Noah built a ship in the middle of a dry land. They hadn't had rain for, for years. And he's building this ark and telling everybody it's going to rain. That's faith. Believing in something you cannot see. And then Abraham, he was called to, to step out. God is calling me to step out. And let me tell you, I'm like, give me the faith of Abraham because it's nervy. It's like, you want me to go? You, oh, you're not even telling me where you want to go, but you want me to go. <laughs> That's faith. When you have a moving of the spirit and he's, and something shifts your day, go with it. Just go with it and know that it's already going to work out. You know, by faith. So go. I'm going to encourage you, go back, because I only have a few minutes today. Go back and read Hebrews 11. If you need a little faith encouragement, go see what they did. And this is why. It says, because this is going to help you run the race of life. If you want to live a worthwhile life, which is what Hebrews 11 says, then you get to see what happens when we step out and we run this race. And that means there's a part on us. God gives us a measure of faith. We actually have to activate that faith. We have to move in that faith. And so I love the message version. It says, uh, Hebrews 12, 1. Do you see what this means? All these pioneers, all the people mentioned in verse 11, in chapter 11, who blazed the way, all these veterans cheering us on, it means we'd better get on with it. Strip down, start running, and never quit. So when you run, run against something hard today, like think of a runner running the track and they have to jump over the hurdles, you're going to hit hurdles today. When you see that hurdle, know that you just jump right over it and you do not quit. And that gets rid of the waste. If we're focused on our faith and where God's leading us, then there's no, and they say, no, no extra spiritual fat because runners don't have any fat. They are thin and they are lean and they are fast. See, God uses examples for a reason. And then they have no parasitic sins because they're eating so clean to take care of the body and take care of where they want to go. That they are healthy enough to run the race. Are you body healthy? Are you mind healthy? Are you spirit healthy to run the race that's set before you today? Here are the things, and I don't want to go too much into it. I'll go into it a little bit more tomorrow. But it says, keep your eyes on Jesus, who both began and finished the race we're in. See, Jesus went before us. He experienced all the temptations. He, he felt the pains. He, he knows. He knows the struggles. And he finished the race. And so now you get to finish the race today and for this week. Set your eyes only upon what's in front of you. And that's right now. And that's today. 
Dear God, give us the grace, give us the faith that we need to go into this day fully knowing that we are ready to run the race. Let us feed our spirits, our minds, and our bodies, Lord, so that we can finish the race that you started. Let us finish the race that is set before us today. Whatever hurdle comes our way, Lord, give us the strength that we need to go over it. You promise that you will, there's no temptation that's uncommon to mankind. That means somebody's been there, done that. And it promises that you are faithful to us and you will give us the strength to go through it or you will give us a way out. Lord, lead us, lead us this day. Let us be so ingrained in your word. Let us watch the heroes of our faith, of your faith and be inspired by those in Hebrews 11. Let us finish strong today, Lord. Let us run the race so that we bring glory and honor to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a very beautiful day. And know, though, that it only takes a little bit of faith to move that mountain. So you, you just need a little bit of faith to get through the day and watch what God will see. Leave me a message and let me know how your day went. I would love to hear back from you. So let me know how are things going today as you move forward knowing that it's already been laid out. You're just running the race. You are the athlete today moving forward into the next thing. So share this with a friend. Thank you for, for being here with me. And let me know what inspires you most and where you may be struggling because I'll chat about those and what God's word says about those. Have a very beautiful day and I'll see you back here tomorrow.